was not the outcome we were looking for, but you know, I want to thank the fans. They, they created a great atmosphere all day. It's great. We got college game day here. Shows how far the program's come. We're competing for a SEC championship with a week left in the regular season. Um, you know, it's out of our hands now. We still got a shot at it. You know, but we're going to need to get some help to earn a share of it at this point. So, real disappointing. You know, they they're a tough veteran team. I mean, you got to give Tennessee a lot of credit. They're down seven midway through the second half. You know, connection foul trouble. He's kind of carried them. They had other guys step up and make big shots. I mean, Ziegler leads them in scoring. He, he was good. We didn't do a good enough job on there. Other guys outside of Connect, we did a fairly good job on Connect, but Adu has 12 and Ziegler is 18 and Meshack gets the big three in the corner. Goes two for two tonight. You know, he had a big night. So we got to get our guys back together. You know, Florida was a overtime game here, so it's not going to be easy to win down there. But we got we got to try to win two and, and hope for a little help here this week. Yeah, Nate, what do you want uh, your guys to take away from this? What was your message to them post game? I mean, we made two of our last 13 field goals. We didn't score a field goal for about nine minutes. We got to make better decisions down the stretch. You know, I thought they were the quicker team to a lot of loose balls throughout the night. If you're going to win a championship, there's championship level plays that have to be made that we didn't make. And when you get a seven point lead against a good team, you, you can't take possessions for granted. I thought we threw away way too many possessions on the offensive end. So, you know, we got to learn from it. I, I, I think, you know, they're a veteran group. I mean, I look, they're, they're, every kid they play outside of Estrella played less than three minutes as a freshman. Waka as a sophomore played less than eight minutes. Everybody else, a junior or senior, or fifth year senior, you know, you go down our list and. Stevenson starting as a freshman, should have been a senior in high school, 25 minutes, and Sam Walters, Devin Cosby, Diabate, Ryland Griffin's a sophomore. We're playing a lot of freshmen and sophomores. They, they, they need to grow up in a hurry. If we're going to try to have a shot to win these last two and try to make a run at the SEC tournament, we need those guys to grow up and play a little more like juniors and seniors and freshmen and sophomores. But you got to give Tennessee a ton of credit. They put together a tough veteran group that figures out how to, how to win games and they've been winning some tough games. You kind of mentioned Jaron struggling. Uh, is that more down to the, just him being a freshman or is there another way you attribute that to? And then have you thought about with, you know, having Cosby and uh, the way uh, Pringle's playing, have you thought about maybe shuffling stuff up? I mean, Devin's playing well and hard and he, he hit some shots. He, you know, you kind of look at some other stuff on the defensive side, like defensive efficiency numbers and things. Like, you know, we, we definitely struggled on offense late. It might have been good to have man if, you know, we really needed some guys that could create some advantages for us and get us better shots. And maybe he could have. Maybe I could have played him a little more. Pringle was great. I mean, I think Pringle's been really good in his role. You know, he did 13 and 9. I, I thought. I really thought we were going to step up and win that thing late when he's going to the free throw line, making all his free throws. I was proud of Nick tonight, proud of what Davin's been able to do in you know, some limited minutes. But you know we'll have to see. I, you know, hopefully, we can get Wrightsell back here soon, and that might allow us to shake some stuff up, too. We, we certainly could have used him tonight. Uh, Nate, uh, I know it's zero consolation, but I, I think you guarded better. You feel like you had before you look at the tape. and. Hold them to 36. They hit some key shots, but I thought you had more resistance defensively. No, we did. We played a lot harder on D. I mean, we had them at a 1.05. We, you know, we'd been, and they're a good team. I mean, with they had, Connect was the leading scorer in the league, and you know, we we did a pretty good job on him. I thought, you know, we had multiple guys that, you know, he made some tough ones late where we didn't follow. We didn't do what we were supposed to, but for the most part, you know, he goes five of 14. I thought we showed we can guard. We just, man, there was some 
loose balls and some defense defensive rebounds that should have been 50 50 balls that we didn't come up with late that if you're going to win a championship like we were trying to win tonight you, you got to make those plays and we just didn't make enough of them late there are a couple tennessee possessions in the first half where y'all doubled connect a long way from the basket outside the three-point line i didn't see much of that in the second half but was the idea there just to make him kind of uncomfortable and, and, and harass him as much as you could? Yeah, we wanted him thinking about whether we were going to double or not double. You know, I'll have to go back and look to see if it worked. I mean, look, if you saw what he was doing to some of the teams in the league, like he was just taking games over. Kind of, we watch a lot of NBA here and you see what teams do to guys like. Steph Curry, Luca, Dame Lillard, when they get going, like they're almost unguardable one on one. And we felt like that's the way he, I mean, you look at the, he had 25 points in the last like 10 minutes of that, 10 to 12 minutes of that Auburn game, just took the thing over after Auburn was up. So we didn't want him getting in a groove, getting comfortable doing that to us. So we, we thought maybe we'd put a little question in his mind. You know, it helped get him in foul trouble for sure. You know, I don't know if the traps helped, the foul trouble helped combination of everything you know he still ended up with 13 points you know but and he just missed some some shots that we didn't do a great job that he just missed some shots too but he's really good uh for fortunate enough to play these guys again in the sec tournament you know we'll have to look and see if what we thought with the possessions where we did trap him hey coach i'll turn the ball over 12 times tonight to tennessee six uh, what can you do to reduce your own turnovers but also get some turnovers from them next time? Yeah, I mean, we didn't – we played much better on defense. You had a points off turnover for 17-9. to nine. That's the difference in the game. So significantly better than the first time when it was 22. But, yeah, I mean, after we got up seven, we, we, we didn't do a very good job early. We had three quick turnovers right out of the gate. Did a pretty good job. The rest of the, I think we only had three turnovers in the next 16 minutes of the first half. So we had six at the half. And then, and it's like, I, I'd have to go back and look, but it seemed to me when they were making that run after they got down seven in the second half, like a combination of our just some bad turnovers and some bad shot selection when they, you know, we, I think we made two of our last 13 field goals and mixed in some turnovers throughout that stretch where we didn't, we didn't make a field goal with, for almost nine minutes. So, you know, when you don't make a field goal for nine minutes, you're probably not taking the best shots and you're turning it over a combination of both. How much frustration is there in ending the home SEC winning streak in this type of environment tonight? And then kind of how, how, how can y'all bounce back over this last week, the regular season? Yeah, we hadn't lost an SEC game in over two years here. So, you know. Our, our, our man, our fans are great. I thought they were unbelievable for game day. I thought they were great during the game. They when we needed stops, they got loud. We just we got to make the plays on the court. So uh, disappointed. We we took a loss at home. I mean, you look at our four losses in league. They're all the pretty good teams. Three of them are on the road. We don't have any bad losses to anybody at the bottom of the league. But if you're gonna win the league, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta win home games. So now we're going to have to go on the road and beat a really good Florida team if we got any chance chance of winning this thing. So we're going to have to regroup in a short time, go on the road and try to beat a team that took us to overtime at our at our own place. Well, hopefully we have Wrightsell back by then. We'll see. Yeah, Coach, you just kind of mentioned it, but Mark said that one of the messages in the locker room was that the season's not over yet. There's still something to play for. Um, how do you kind of approach that? when it comes after a game that was kind of built up as a championship game of sorts for the regular season title? That's hard. We're not in full control whether we win it or not anymore. We, we, we were going into tonight. We had full control over whether we won the championship. Now we need some help. So we'll see how mature our guys are because we, we talk to them all the time, control the things you can control. What we can control now is our effort on Tuesday, our effort on Saturday, and if we're looking – you know, for help and not getting in, and that, that affects our effort, and we're not as mature as we need to be. So we got to take care of our business. If we get some help, great. If we don't, you know, we could still get a two seed. We're certainly looking to get a bye, you know, not, not to play till Friday. The easiest way to win the uh, tournament championship is to get the highest seed you can get. So at this point, we're playing for seeding, and 
if we get some help, great. If we don't get any help, we we didn't deserve to win it. We needed to win this one to have full control of our destiny, whether we win the regular season or not. Thank you. All right, thanks, guys.